Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is gonna be focused on sharing what's new to my wardrobe for fall. I've been buying random things here and there from different retailers, so I thought I would just share a good mix of things that I've recently purchased for the upcoming fall season that I'm really excited about. This video is gonna be a little bit more casual than my typical like try-on hauls and things like that. I think it's gonna be a little more vlog style, so I hope y'all enjoy. All right, so today is currently Saturday when I'm filming this. I've been so thrown off this week because Tim and I actually went on a spontaneous trip back to Jackson Hole. I had just been seeing it on my TikTok ever since I got back last month. I went for a work trip with Toyota and I was just dying to do more hiking and exploring in the area. This is my third time going to Jackson Hole and the last year we went last year as a family and then I went in August for a work trip with Toyota and then we just got back from my third trip and this trip was strictly focused on hiking really. We did so much and it was so much fun and such a beautiful trip. Um, if you're curious what hikes we did and all of my Jackson recommendations, I did an updated travel guide. So I rounded up the Toyota trip and this recent trip, basically giving you a bunch of ideas if you're going for three or four days. I don't think I'll be heading back to Jackson anytime soon. So I think we're looking at other national parks to hit next, maybe Yosemite or something like that. But let me know if you have any favorite hiking trips because um, we very much enjoyed it. Before we get into what's new to my wardrobe, I do want to share a new brand with y'all that I'm really excited to be partnering with for this video. If you haven't heard of Honey Love, they are such a good brand, you know? When you just connect with a brand and you just get a, a good feeling from them that's definitely one that i get with honey love it's very much like a female founded woman empowering type of brand that they give back and i just really love what their mission and vision is all about for the brand so they're primarily known for their shapewear and basics but they have expanded into clothing but i have two really good shapewear and basics to share with you in today's video so the first piece from honey love i wanted to share with y'all this is the liftwear cami and they have so many different shapewear options i chose to go the cami route just because it's a little bit easier to use the restroom but they do have full body sets as well as well as just the bottoms so so this cami is meant to sculpt you and smooth you out it also gives you wire free lift as well so it does have a built-in bra which is really nice and honestly, the quality is exceptional. It's thick, it has silicone on the bottom there, so it's gonna grip on and not roll up and constantly move around on you, which is really nice. The straps are adjustable and the material is just really impressive. I got a size medium in this one, so I'll show y'all how it looks, but that's a really great kind of everyday shapewear piece. It's still comfortable, but it really smooths you out, so it will look great under blouses and dresses and everyday wear. And then the next piece from Honey Love, this is their crossover bra, and I would say this is sort of a hybrid between a bra and a bralette. So it does have the clasp on the back. There's actually three hooks, so it's a really nice, thick supportive band. The straps again are adjustable, but it's wire free and comfortable, but it gives you really great support because it has this crossover design. So it still lifts you. And then this design in particular does have a mesh detail, which I think is really pretty. If you're looking for really high quality everyday basics, I'm going to link Honey Love down below. Definitely check them out. Like I said, they have expanded out of the basics and shapewear line they do include clothing and things like that as well so they have so much to offer and i definitely think that y'all will like the quality as well as the price point so i'll have these two items linked for you down below as well as a link to directly shop at honey love All right it's sort of a mess in this room while i film this video but here is one of the new in pieces to my wardrobe this is a hill house nora dress josie actually got a matching one that's one thing i love about hill house is they Oh, they have like matching mommy and me options. So I got her the 3T in the dress because that's the smallest size that they had. So she definitely has plenty of room to grow into it. And then I'm honestly quite chilly right now. The AC is blowing. So I threw on this lady jacket from Walmart. I'm not sure if this restocked. I know y'all went crazy for it when I first shared it. I've been loving the lady jacket trend lately. I got an extra small on that and I got a small on this dress. I would say if you're in between 
to size up. It seems to fit a little bit smaller than the regular nap dress. And then just to style it, I paired it with these knee high boots. These are definitely a splurge, but they're really great quality. I was looking for a good riding boot last year, just a lower heel height. And I had honestly a hard time finding one. So I finally ended up splurging on these. So I haven't worn them too much because I got them at the end of the season, but I definitely plan to share an update and review them after I wear them a little bit more. Starting off with a couple things from Nordstrom. I do have a Nordstrom haul coming, so stay tuned for that. But first I wanted to share this sweater dress. I always like to try the affordable sweater dress options from Nordstrom and kind of pick my favorite for the season. So I love the fit of this dress. It's really comfortable. It's fitted so you don't get lost in it, but it's not skin tight. And I think the ribbing is very flattering. I love the extra length of the sleeve and how it kind of flares out. I'm wearing a size small. It's true to size. The neck on the sweater is stretchy. It doesn't feel too tight or claustrophobic. I do have the Honey Love tank underneath and it just smooths everything out but feels very comfortable at the same time. All right, so this is a fitted sweater dress without any sort of undergarments underneath. I'm just wearing a strapless bra. All right now I'm wearing the sweater dress with the lift wear cami and I'm honestly very impressed with how comfortable it is. It, it doesn't feel as restrictive as a lot of shapewear that I've tried in the past. It just feels like second skin and it's really smoothing, especially in this back area. I noticed that it really smoothed that out as well. And it just feels really comfortable. Definitely great for everyday wear. One thing I did want to mention about Honey Love is they are size inclusive. So their whole philosophy is just empowering every woman out there to feel their best. And then I paired it with this little cutie. Honestly, this was a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but it is very cute for the right occasion. It doesn't fit my iPhone, but kind of gives you that Hermes look for less. Honestly, Josie loves to carry this bag around, so it'll probably end up being hers more so than mine. And then I paired it with these white knee-high boots. These are also a new addition to my wardrobe this season. They have a fold-over kind of slouchy look to them, and I like how it covers the zipper on the inside. These do come in two other color options, black and a neutral tan and they are true to size. I just threw over this little lady jacket that I bought from Amazon. I really like the rounded edge to it. So it's like a tweed detail with gold buttons. I'm wearing a small, it does fit pretty close. So if you're in between and you don't want a super snug fit, I would recommend a size up. I've been loving all things lady jacket. It's definitely a big trend this fall, but I feel like it's still very classic at the same time. So I ordered this little party dress for an upcoming trip. I'm going to Dallas for LTKCon and I need a couple different outfits. Honestly, usually I am way more into my outfits, but honestly, I just feel like I'm going to be shopping my closet more for this year, which is kind of weird, but I did order this dress, but I honestly don't think it's right for the occasion, I guess. Um, I would probably wear this the last night when it's like elevated cocktail, but I think I have options that I already have in my wardrobe that I can make work, but it is a really cute party dress, the little feather detail. Then it has two little diamond bows, which feels very designer. I don't know which designer I'm thinking of, but I've seen dresses that are like thousands of dollars with little bows like this. And it's really good quality. It fits really nicely. It's a thick material. So if you have a little occasion coming up, this one's definitely a fun little dress. All right, next item, how just absolutely precious is this quilted coat? I bought this so fast when I saw it. So it has this pearl button detail, little collared ruffle detail, and I also love the bell fit in the sleeve. It From the side, it has almost like an A-line shape to it, especially when you have both arms down. It almost looks like a cropped like dress coat. It's just so cute. Looks good open, closed, or you can even just button that top button if you'd like. I'm wearing a size small. I have plenty of room to layer underneath and it is just the cutest little fall coat. Then underneath it, I have on this sleeveless sweater. This is a recent Amazon find. It comes with loungewear shorts. So I think it's intended to actually be more loungewear, but it works great with jeans and it's a good 
kind of casual transitional piece. Here's a better look at it, but I'm wearing a size small. I did do a little front tuck. It is pretty roomy. So I would say if you're in between to size down in this one, but it definitely looks best with a little bit of a tuck. All right, next up is this ultra feminine cardigan sweater from Cezanne. I love the scalloped trim detail. Um, so this one you can wear both open and close. It has a little detail here on the wrist. It is very soft, but it does have a little bit of texture to it. As you can see, it's quite fuzzy. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. So if you're super sensitive to wool, you may have to wear an undershirt underneath this one, but it's such high quality. This is my first time actually shopping at Cezanne. I picked up a similar sweater because I could not decide between the two because I, I just loved the scalloping detail, but it is true to size. I'm wearing a small. And then this is the other sweater that I got from Cezanne. Very similar as far as the detailing and the trim, but this one is thinner, not as bulky, a little more streamlined. I adore this little detail on the bottom. I think it's so cute. It has a really good fit too. I'm wearing a small and I like how it sits loosely around the hips to really let that detail shine. And then also is on the neckline as well. For work, you definitely need a tank top underneath this one. I'm wearing a nude bra and I would wear it like this as is, but if I was wearing it to the office, you want something nude underneath because it is Thin. Here is a better look at the lift wear cami. You can kind of see the little cross structured detail through here. The fit is perfect right here in the chest. It sits very flush and seamless underneath. If I was wearing this with these jeans, I would have it tucked in, but I just wanted to show you all the overall length of it. Again, I'm wearing a medium. I think I could have gone with a medium or a small if I was wanting something a little bit tighter and even more compressive. I think the small would have been okay too. It just has a really nice fit all the way around. It doesn't dig in on my back or anything like that. And it's honestly the most comfortable shapewear that I have tried. All right, next up is this white sweater dress. The reason I was so drawn to this is because it is a true white, which I feel like is hard to come by when it comes to sweater dresses like this. It has this little ribbed detail just on the neck here. The sleeves are three quarter more of like a casual look and feel to it. It's flowy, but it's not too oversized. A tiny bit on the shorter side, so if you're petite, this one will still be great for you. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. I also recently bought this Demillier handbag, and I'm very excited about it. I love crossbody bags, so I have the strap shortened right now because I like to just wear it on the shoulder like this, but you can lengthen it to wear it crossbody. I just felt like my wardrobe was lacking a classic brown crossbody. I didn't want something that had in your face logos or anything like that. I wanted something that would be good for travel even, um, and not be worried about, you know, carrying it or get, get getting lost in my luggage, that type of thing. Um, it's still very impressed with the quality of this. It's still a good investment type of bag. The leather is really nice. Clasp takes a little bit of getting used to. Like I always want to bring it down a little bit lower than it needs to go but it just clasps right there in the front and then you lift it up there. It's not the roomiest bag, definitely just good for the essentials, but my phone does fit in there and I have the bigger iPhone. So yeah, very excited to add this bag to my handbag collection. I think I'm gonna carry it a lot and I am eyeing another one of their bags just because I've just been so impressed with the quality of this one. Wow, so this one is sadly not how I envisioned it in my head at all. So this is definitely going back. I literally feel like a marshmallow in this. I thought it'd be a cute like matching set for travel and wearing around the house, but it is not. It is not cute, y'all. I don't know what the deal is, but the waistband is actually huge. Like I'm wearing a small and I feel like it fits like an extra large, honestly. It's weird and like I can't really tighten the waistband. I don't know. Yeah, this one's just a return, unfortunately. All right, I took a quick snack break, how to chomps if you're curious, I'm obsessed with those. They're actually now at Costco, which is amazing because I go through them 
so quickly. I eat one probably every single day as just like a quick snack or just like for a quick protein source. So I had one of those um, and now I have a couple other things to share that I just got in recently. So the first thing is a pair of Hoka's and this is actually the first time I have ever tried this brand. I know so many people rave about the comfort of them. I haven't tried them in the past, honestly, I think because of the colors, like they're usually pretty loud and colorful and it's a very chunky shoe. So I just was never that attracted to them, I guess. But when I saw this color, I was like, okay, I have to give them a try. They're basically my go-to sneaker color. I think I've had a pair of Ultra Boost in a shade like this for the past three years. But I've been doing so much walking. I've worked up to an hour nearly every single day as long as the weather's nice. I usually like to walk in the morning, kind of first thing, phone free. And it's just the best way to start my day. So I knew I needed a good, comfortable pair of shoes, like I was overdue. You're supposed to replace them every 300 miles, which I don't track, but I, I know I wore the last pair for over a year. So I wore these today for my first walk and I feel like it took some adjusting just because I felt so tall and squishy. Cause they definitely give you some height, but they were definitely very comfortable and supportive. Um, also good, like they have a good width to them as well. I got my normal sneaker size in those, which just a general overview um, with sneakers, I typically size up. I don't even know truly what my true size is because it just depends on the shoe. So for sandals and heels, I'm typically an eight and a half. For boots and sometimes flats, just depending on if they're closed toe, I am a size nine. And then for athletic sneakers and things like that, I get a nine and a half because you want comfortable room. So as your foot swells with activity and things like that, you're not gonna swell into the sides and get blisters and get squished and all of that. So I got my normal nine and a half in these for running shoes. And then I also got a new pair of knee high boots. I'm excited to see these. They're from Sam Edelman. All right, so here's the color. These are honestly, gorgeous. They're a little bit more of a buttery, like softer tan than I was expecting, but I don't have a color like this currently in my boot wardrobe, boot wardrobe, <laughs> boot collection. I don't know where that came from, but the heel looks good. Sam Edelman is my favorite shoe designer. I just feel like the quality is really good. Knee high boots for me are just what fall is all about. Like I just love a good knee high boot. So I got my normal size in these. So in other news, I thought I would give y'all a fun update. Or just kind of like a personal goal that I hit this week. I hit my goal weight randomly this week, which I just kind of randomly set a number. I honestly didn't put too much pressure on it because I just wanted to like be active and wherever my body was like happy with happy like weight wise I was gonna be fine with that so I didn't really have my mindset on this number in particular but when I got on the scale this week I was like wow like I actually hit that number so that was cool um, it's actually the same weight that I was playing college softball and that's kind of why I picked it because I figured I was in great shape probably then um, and it's kind of funny too that I hit it this week because while Tim and I were hiking in Jackson, I joked with him that the scale better move when I get home because I had never been that active in my life. We seriously hiked around 30 miles in two days. We did two hikes a day. So we did Delta Lake, which is probably one of the most popular hikes in the area right now, but it's not marked and it is pretty stren strenuous at the end because you're climbing straight up rocks and like boulders and things which the boulders weren't difficult but at one point you're you're literally going straight up so it's very steep and your heart rate gets pretty high but you get to this absolutely beautiful most peaceful lake with like mountains in the background it's it's totally worth it and we did that it took about three hours it just took just under four hours to do that one and then in the afternoon we did another hike y'all Tim did not look at the reviews or anything for this hike. We literally just picked it because it's called Josie's Ridge. <laughs> okay, so we were like, oh, obviously we have to do Josie's hike. Y'all, no. Do not recommend doing those two in the same day if you read my itinerary because Josie's, Josie's Ridge was 
straight up <laughs> and so much harder. It was honestly harder than the Delta Lake hike <laughs> because it was just relentlessly steep. You're just going straight up the mountain. So that was definitely a butt kicker. Definitely read reviews on all trails before you do anything like that. And then the next day we did two really like good casual hikes. We did around Jenny Lake and out to Cascade Canyon. And that was honestly probably the most beautiful hike, especially the Cascade Canyon portion. It was just so peaceful. We hiked early morning because we knew we just don't like to hike around a bunch of people and it'd be <laughs> crowded. Um, and then in the afternoon we did one, I, I don't know why I can't remember the name, but it's like Ski Lake something, something like that. I don't know why I can't remember the name, but a friend recommended it to me. And that one was beautiful as well. The fall color was just perfect on that hike. Like there were, I think, wildflowers that were turned everywhere and you just saw like a widespread view of the mountains and it was beautiful. So definitely recommend, I recommend all of the hikes, but just don't do Josie's Ridge on a day like unless you want a good workout, like it's a good local workout hike. <laughs> um, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. Like that one's l the lowest on the list compared to the other ones that we did. It was just convenient to where we were staying. That was a very long explanation to my storyline, but essentially while we were d on one of those hikes, I think we were on Josie's Ridge and I was like, that scale better move after all this freaking activity. <laughs> and when you know, when I got home, I randomly hit my goal weight. So that was, I guess, cool to celebrate. Um, and if you're curious what I have been doing, I started strength training right after Nordstrom sales when we started. So Tim built me a strength training program. It's three times a week. And um, I think he has plans to eventually like sell the program to y'all. We'll see where he goes with that. But um, I've been doing that and tons of walking every single day and obviously more disciplined with my diet, focusing on protein. But I wrote up a blog post with like all the details to what I've been doing if you're curious. So I'll link that down below. Good morning y'all, happy Sunday. I just got back from my morning walk. I did about three and a half miles in an hour. And that's been my typical morning routine these days. It was pretty chilly when I first started. I almost had to come home and get a jacket. It was like 54, so that's pretty exciting for the Georgia fall weather finally arriving. But I wore this little Lululemon long sleeve top. My skirt is from Spanx. I do have a Spanx code I'll link down below. And then I wore my new Hoka's and my socks are from Amazon. Also, this little scalloped watch is another Amazon find. Um, it's very similar to one from Kate Spade a couple years ago. So I was very happy to find it. I might even get another color. So when I get back from my walk, I always like to rehydrate with electrolytes. We use these from Element. We took these on our trip to Jackson and they were very clutch, especially with hiking in the different altitudes and stuff like that. Um, I always do the lemon lime flavor. Huh? The citrus flavor. Tim corrected me. Don't want to get yelled at in the comments for saying the wrong thing. Well, Josie has been a new child. She spent a couple days with her grandparents and I don't know what happened. But we are dealing with so much more attitude. New also, child. New child. Oh, also, I asked him. <laughs> I went to Costco yesterday and I was like, if you happen to see any mums, let me know. And we got some carnations, y'all. I knew they weren't mums. I know. I got you the closest thing. I didn't know what you were using them for. I, yeah, our front porch. Well, now you have flowers to decorate flowers. something. Thank you, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. It has been a pretty chill Sunday. Tim just left for his soccer game. Josie's going to be up from her nap soon. I honestly need to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. And I've been wanting to also like go to Publix and check out their pumpkin selection and start decorating for fall now that it is officially fall. Not that I would wait for a specific date on the calendar that I, I think is appropriate. If I had, one, I had the time to do it earlier, I probably would have. Let me know when y'all decorate for fall, or even if you do decorate for fall, 
I know some people don't really decorate seasonally, but we're in our new house this year, so I'm excited to have a front porch to decorate. Anyway, I have been hanging out in here. Honestly, this little spot in our bedroom is where I hang out most of the time. It's now where I work on my computer and watch TV in the evenings. So I'm pretty much always posted up in this chair. You can see my little heating pad. This is how it really looks off of the blog. Heating pad, Barefoot Dreams blanket. I always prop my feet up on here. I have been organizing some returns that I need to get back and off of my to-do list. Lighting needs to change. But I did just see that my favorite pair of skinny jeans is currently on sale. They're from Frame. If you haven't tried Frame denim before, they are so comfortable. These jeans honestly feel like leggings, but they don't look like jeggings or anything like that. They're a true jean. But let me show y'all. If you're looking for a good skinny jean, I got these last year in my normal size 28. Now I think I could definitely do a 27. They're very stretchy, but they still fit really well. And they don't stretch out with wear. I honestly don't even think I've washed these. I just don't wash my jeans a ton unless they like get a stain on them or if they obviously smell. Um, but they are so flattering through the leg. They're really lightweight and they don't feel stiff. They're stretchy. So these are my go-to to wear with knee-high boots and things like that. They're also a perfect length. I'm 5'5 for height reference. So I just wanted to share if you need a good staple jean. These are definitely a top recommendation currently on sale. Then I'm just wearing this little cropped Jackson Hole sweatshirt. I actually wore this yesterday afternoon and like into the evening as well. I picked it up this most recent trip. Underneath the sweatshirt, I'm just wearing that Honey Love bra. It's very comfortable, but still gives really great support. So definitely check out Honey Love if you need some good basics. I've been really impressed with the quality, but I'm going to be signing off on this vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed this what's new to my wardrobe and I will see you in my next one. I have Amazon and Nordstrom coming up next. So I will see you then. Bye.